postulants from the Order of the Hospitallers of St. Lazarus of Jerusalem were there at this time. Chancellor of the United Grand Priors of the Hospital Order of St. Lazarus of Jerusalem, His Excellency the Chevalier Massimo Ilu, Grand Knight Cross of the Order of and Command, Grand Commander of Merit of Companion of Merit of the Order, recipient of the Gold Oak Leaves of Merit of the Order, and entrusted with representing the Supreme Grand Priory in this tonight, saw or in this afternoon solemn ceremony, accompanied by the Grand Treasurer of the United Grand Priors of the Hospital Order of St. Lazarus of Jerusalem. Now entering. and his investing officers. On behalf of our fellow conf uh, confreres and con uh, consuers, we have petitioned the Hospitaller Order of St. Lazarus of Jerusalem to uphold our plea to co uh, consecrate a new Grand Priory in this hallowed country of ours. It is our will and our pleasure to accede to uh, our request. In the name of God, the Blessed Virgin Mary, and St. Lazarus, and by the authority conferred upon me by the Grand Council, I declare this to be a properly constituted investiture of the Grand Priory of the United States of America of the Hospitaller Order of St. Lazarus of Jerusalem, assembled upon due notice to admit, promote, and honor persons present in the fellowship of our order to hallow our banners and insignia, and to dedicate ourselves in the service of God and of our hospitaler order. I read from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 16, verses 19 through 31. There was a rich man who dressed in purple garments and fine linen and dined sumptuously each day. And lying at his door was a poor man named Lazarus, covered with sores, who would gladly have eaten his fill of, a, of the scraps that fell from the rich man's table. Dogs even used to come and lick his sores. When the poor man died, he was carried away by angels to the bosom of Abraham. The rich man also died and was, was buried. And from the netherworld, where he was in torment, he raised his eyes and saw Abraham afar off. And Lazarus at his side. And he cried out, Father Abraham, have pity on me. Send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am suffering torment in these flames. Abraham replied, My child, remember that you received what was good during your lifetime, while Lazarus likewise received what was bad. But now he is comforted here, whereas you are tormented. Moreover, between us and you is a great chasm which is established to prevent anyone from crossing who might wish to go from our side to yours or from your side to ours. He said, Then I beg you, Father, send him to my father's house, for I have five brothers, so that they may warn them, 
least they come to the place of this place of torment. And Abraham replied, they have Moses and the prophets. Let them listen to them. He said, oh no, Father Abraham, but if anyone from the dead goes to them, they will repent. Then Abraham said, if they will not listen to Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded if someone should rise from the dead. This is the word of the Lord. Praise, Praise be to the Lord. Lord. Most Reverend Grand Prior, Your Honor, Chancellor-elect of the Grand Prairie of the United States, Dame Karen, Secretary General-elect of the Grand Prairie of the U.S., Reverend Sir, Chaplain of the Grand Prairie of the U.S., Confrère and Concert, Distinguished Guests, Brethren all. It's indeed a great pleasure for me to be here on behalf of the Supreme Grand Priory of the Hospitaller Order of St. Lazarus of Jerusalem, which as you all know, is an international chivalric organization based in more than 43 jurisdictions around the world. I bring with me the blessings and the sincerest regards of the Supreme Grand Priory, led by its Supreme Grand Prior, His Excellency Richard Cummins of Luston. I'm sure Brother Wallace would like to meet him, being a fellow Scot. You will next year. <laughs> what we're doing today is basically establishing a new Grand Priory in the United States. We have worked for these last three years to ensure that the right people and the right postulants are chosen for such a situation. At the end of the day, what we're all about is hospitaler work. This is the be-all and end-all of the hospitaler order of St. Lazarus of Jerusalem. You can have all the title in the world if at the end of the year you've done nothing to aid and assist, what's the use of all those lovely crosses you've got all around you? And this is what we're going to try to start as a hospitaler order here in the United States with all of you and with the assistance of all the people here so that we give our little bit to assist the needy. The Grand Prior just read from the Bible the part where St. Lazarus is mentioned in the parable. Why St. Lazarus? I'm sure you all know that Saint Lazarus, the order of St. Lazarus back in the medieval period was one of the mighty orders, monarchic, monastic orders during the Crusades. It came from the same Blessed Gerard who established the Knights of St. John. Blessed Gerard, who was the founder of the Knights of St. John, was also the founder of the Knights Hospitalis. In time, it became establishment in the cities and towns of the Holy Land, Jerusalem and, and, and the Utremer, because that is how they used to call them. And they had commanderies and preceptories all over Europe, from England to Poland and Hungary and Germany and Switzerland, Italy, all over. And during that period, obviously today we say wrongly so, arguments were fought by the sword. And the heathen, within inverted commas, were killed in the name of God. Fortunately, today we don't do that anymore. <laughs> That's why we're the Hospitaller Order of St. Lazarus, <laughs> not the military and Hospitaller <laughs> Order of St. Lazarus. Because what, why should we be military about all these things we've been talking about? Should we be military when we're serving the needy in Africa, in Asia? And this is what we're all about. So I'm not going to be long because there's a whole ritual to do. But the reason why I spent five minutes talking with you is to explain to you your commitment today. The postulants who are here, who are going to vow to be part of our team, international team, must realize that they're not just part of any other organization. Three years ago, to be correct, four years ago, the Hospitaller Order of St. Lazarus of Jerusalem numbered 1,800 members worldwide. As of May 2011, we have 14,000 members worldwide. 
And there's a reason for that. It's because we choose wisely. We don't go for quantity, even though numbers show that we've grown big. The reason is we choose wisely. And why am I saying and stressing this? Because now it falls upon you, concerns and confreres, led by your officers, to ensure that what you're going to do in the States reflects and projects what's happening in all the other priorities. Choose wisely. We don't need numbers. We need honest, God-fearing men and women who really believe they can help in aiding and assisting hospitality work. Now you're going to tell me, so what is hospitality work? And I'm going to answer you, it's all relative. And why am I saying this? Because every Grand Priory in every country we have does it differently. And I'll explain it for you. In Austria, for example, our Grand Priory runs Vienna's, in Vienna, there are only three homeless shelters. None of them is government owned. One of them is totally run by our order. Totally. We feed 1,700 homeless people in Vienna, not in the Congo, not in Uganda, in Vienna, every single day. Because we believe in dignity, we charge them one euro. Normally, we give it to them before they enter. But that's Austria for you. In South Africa, we inoculate thousands of people due to our voluntary hands-on operations in the Grand Priory of South Africa. We also help, and you're going to find this funny, I think. In South Africa, at the moment, there's a huge problem with unwanted babies. Not colored babies. White babies. We take care of them as well. That's South Africa for you. In other countries, we have disaster relief organizations, like in Hungary and in the Slovak Republic, with all their um, lovely and very expensive equipment to save and assist when needed. And whoever follows European um, news, you know about the floods which hit Europe um, earlier um, this winter, for example. And our Slovak team and our Hungarian team were there up front. We have all sorts of people who are part of our family. We have ministers, we have members of parliament, we have mayors, we have nobility, we have three and four star generals, we have soldiers, we have police officers, we have firemen, we have bakers, we have grocers, we have anybody who can be of hospital or help to the society he's involved with. It doesn't matter, we're all the same. So comes back to my first question, to my first statement. We're all the same, and the end result is hospital or work. That's what we are going to pledge today. And I'm referring to the postulates. So when you get the phone calls from your officers, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. I know none of you need all this. You don't need all this. You're OK. You can do a barbecue with your family instead of doing an event with the order. It's better, it's easier, and you don't do you know, labor work for somebody else. But at the end of the day, the satisfaction you get when you help and assist is, for me at least, supreme. It's important, it's essential in your life that you give back something who, for people who can't afford what you can afford. So, to close my rambling, um, I would like to officially acknowledge the presence of our Dear friends from the Imperial Order of Constantine the Great and St. Helen, um, it's a pleasure to have you Thank here you. with us. And I'm sure that the congregation would also acknowledge their help and assistance in, with our officers to ensure that the Grand Priory of the United States is reality. It's a historic occasion for us. It's not been a quick and let's do it quick thing. We've been working for three years to choose the right people. So if you're in this, chapel, this beautiful chapel, you're the right people.
you to bless these crosses as symbols of Christ's death and resurrection. Confrère, since we have with us the Grand Prior-elect of the Grand Priory of this land, and since he is a man of God and a man of the cloth, it is my will and pleasure that it will be our most respected confrere who will bless the crosses. Let me remind those of you who are about to become members of the Hospital Order that the crosses which you will receive is for Christians, or to Christians. The sign of man's redemption, its four arms symbolize the, the cardinal virtues of prudence, temperance, justice, and fortitude. Its points represent the eight beatitudes which spring from the practice of these virtues, namely humility, sorrow from sin, meekness, thirst for righteousness, mercy, purity, peace, suffering under persecution, whilst it, its greenness will uh, ever remind you of the humanitarian care required of Christ's soldiers and servants. Reverend Sir, today's investiture will see the formation of the Grand Priory of the United States with its new officers. We ask you to bless the banner of this worthy and God-fearing country. Ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding. Let us pray. We beseech thee, Lord, Father Almighty, eternal God, to bless these signs and banners, all dedicated to the Holy Cross, so that it becomes a sign of confirmation of faith for your servants who will be received unto the hospital order of St. Lazarus of Jerusalem. Let it also be the incentive to perform good deeds, a salvation of the soul, and a defense and good protection from their enemies. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Sir, the members and officers of the Grand Priory of the United States of America, in formation of the Hospital Order of St. Lazarus of Jerusalem, are properly gathered for this legitimate consecration of the Grand Priory. They are all postulants who wish to be brought into the order in this consecration of their own Grand Priory. Will you be willing to intercede with the Grand Investing Officer in order to ensure that such a consecration is indeed his will and pleasure? Your Excellency, the members and officers of the Grand Priory of the United States and a number of postulants are properly gathered for this legitimate consecration of the Grand Priory of the United States of America, as per the published decree of the Supreme Grand Priory of the Hospitaller Order of St. Lazarus of Jerusalem, is it your will and pleasure to constitute and consecrate the Grand Priory of the United States of America? It is indeed. The Supreme Grand Priory of the Hospitaller Order of St. Lazarus has vested in me and in you, my fellow officers, the authority to conduct your request. In the name of God, the Blessed Virgin, and St. Lazarus, and by the authority conferred upon me by the Grand Council of Knights, I declare this to be registered in the records of the Supreme Grand Priory of the United Grand Priories as a properly constituted consecration, assembled upon due notice to admit, promote, and honor persons present in the fellowship of the order. Your Excellency, Having accepted the nomination of the Most Reverend Bishop Thomas Mount to be invested today as an ecclesiastical commander of the order and as the Grand Prior designate of the Grand Prior of, of the United States, it is your pleasure, is it your pleasure to invest him? It definitely is. Please present him. Confrere Thomas Mount, having been appointed as Grand Prior of the Grand Priory of the United States of America, you are now required to take the following obligation, which you will say, placing your hands on the Holy Gospel. I, Thomas Mount, having been appointed Grand Prior of the Grand Priory of the United States, do solemnly promise to faithfully discharge the duties thereof, give all duties, obedience, loyalty, and respect 
to the Supreme Grand Priory and further to hold in reverence all who are set in authority in the order. Do you agree on your honor to uphold this solemn obligation? I do, so help me God. I now invest you with the authority of the Grand Prior of the Grand Priory of the United States of America and trust that you will faithfully apply yourself to the aims and objects of our hospitaler order in general and the Grand Priory of the United States in particular. Your Grace, it's with great pleasure that I give you the brevet of the official consecration of the Grand Priory of the United States. You will be from now on the first Grand Prior and it is your responsibility to hold on to the brevet. I wish you luck and you will have our support in all the coming months. As Grand Prior of the United States and in accordance with the decrees issued by the Council of Knights of the Grand Priory of the United States of America, I hereby appoint the following members of the order and their respective offices within the Grand Priory. Chaplain, the Reverend David Odell Clevenger. Reverend, the Grand Prior's wish is his command and my authorization. I look forward to working with you as chaplain of the Grand Priory. This is yours, and I'm sure you do good work. Secretary General Dame Karen Cantrell. Dame Cantrell, it's a pleasure and an honor to give you the certificate and brevet of your being the first Secretary General of the Commandery of the Grand Priory of the United States. And a good job so far, and I'm sure you do more. Thank you. Yeah. Chancellor, the most honorable referee, referee Benjamin Zadinia. John Zadinia, change your surname, make it more. <laughs> Smith or something like that. Ben works. Well, Ben is great. <laughs> Confrere, it's indeed a great pleasure for me to give you the brevet of authority as Chancellor of the Grand Priory. You are the first Chancellor of the Grand Priory of the US, which means you're the father figure for all these confreres and concerts. May you guide them wisely, which I'm sure you will, and you know you have our backing. Congratulations. And don't change your surname. We'll, 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 we'll okay. stick to that. <laughs> As Grand Prior of the United States, and in accordance with the decrees issued by the Council of Knights of the Grand Priory of the United States of America, I hereby appoint the following members of the order to head the various uh, commanderies within our jurisdiction. The Commandery of California, Confrere Peter Ludwig Johannes Eckert. Confrere, it's a pleasure and honor to have you with us and to be the first commander of the Commandery of California. I'm sure you'll do fine. Thank you. Give it a German touch. <laughs> <laughs> Chaplain of the Commandery of California, the Reverend Confrere Jim Steele. Confrere Jim. It's my pleasure to give you the brevet of authority as chaplain of the Commandery of California. I'm trusting their souls on your shoulders. Take care of them, especially the naughty ones. <laughs> <laughs> the Commandery of North Carolina, the Reverend Canon Sanford Raymond Sears. Reverend Sears is on a mission in South America, assisting widows and orphans at this time. We'll give him the certificate at the later. Absolutely. The Commandery of South Carolina, Confrere John Robert Wallace. Finally, Escott. <laughs> Thank you, sir. John, it's a pleasure, and I'm sure you'll do well in South Carolina. Just choose people of your Thank you, level. Okay. Take care. The Commandery of Pennsylvania, the Reverend David Odell Clevenger. You're here again. <laughs> You go to Pennsylvania and do your job and make sure that we have an honest and strong commander in Pennsylvania. Thank you. Take care. The commander of Nevada, the most honorable confrere, Benjamin Zavinia. See, he got it right this <laughs> It's a pleasure indeed to have you as commander of the commandery 
I'm sure you do your job in your state. And at the end of our next investiture, you have more posture from your state joining us in the other. Your choice in offices is indeed wise and justified. I can confirm that they have been executed with the full approval of the Supreme Empire. Allow me, however, to ensure that the commandery of Florida is also properly led and managed by an exemplary officer. So who better than you, worthy sir? And this is your brevet for the commandery of Florida. And I'm sure you'll do what is needed in your own state. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, I have the honor to present on behalf of the Hospital Order of St. Lazarus of Jerusalem, postulants for admission to the Grand Priory of the United States of America. Their admission has been approved by the Grand Council of the United Grand Priories of the Order of St. Lazarus of Jerusalem and in accordance with the statutes of the Order. Your presentation shall be attended to. Consul, have the postulants made their prayers for admission? in all things according to the statutes and ordinances of our order? And are you persuaded that they are, by their lives, conversations, and Christian devotion, such persons as are fit and proper to be admitted to our ranks of chivalry? Your Excellency, they have all made proper application, and I am persuaded of their fitness. You have prayed that you may be, you may be admitted to this hospitaller order, and we have been assured that you are such persons as may be fittingly so admitted, but that we may be certain of your full understanding of what you propose to do and of your acceptance of the high aims and ideals of our order, that you devoutly intend to live henceforth according to those aims and ideals, and further, that we may judge of the sincerity and earnestness of your desire to enter the ancient and honorable ranks of chivalry, I require and charge you that publicly and openly before God and this assembly, you give your solemn and serious answer to the following questions. And normally you say, I do, after the question. <laughs> do you solemnly promise to observe and obey the statutes and ordinances of the Hospitaller Order of St. Lazarus of Jerusalem, to uphold in your life and conversations its high ideals of Christian devotion, service and charity, to further by your labor, obligations and prayers, its efforts to alleviate suffering and bring about the blessed unity of all Christian people which truly belongs to Christ's Holy Church? I do. <laughs> do you solemnly promise on your honor to give all due obedience, loyalty and respect to the Grand Council and further to hold in reverence all who are set in authority in the order, saving always that right and proper allegiance, loyalty and respect which you owe to your state and country? I do. Do you solemnly promise to hold fast the Christian faith, to collaborate in all good works and enterprises of this order, and to employ all influence for the preservation, growth, and splendor of the order? I do. See, it's easy. <laughs> As God, by His grace, has given you the will to do and perform all these things, may He, by His mercy, grant you strength and power faithfully to fulfill the same. Your Excellency, we would like to present worthy postulants to join the ranks of the Order of the Grand Priory of the United States. Since it is your will and pleasure to invest them, I now call upon the Grand Prior elect of the United States to come forward and present the postulants. Your Excellency, I beg to present the following postulants to be invested with the rank of member. Consur Trish Steele. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost and by the authority granted to me by the Supreme Grand Council, I do now create, make, and confirm you a member of our order. Receive this cross 
the symbol of charity. Faith, hope, and charity abide, but the greatest of these is charity. Receive the mantle of the order, the symbol of brotherhood. Brethren, let us love one another because love is of God. Monsieur Leanne Joe Kuros. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, and by the authority committed to me by the Supreme Grand Council, I do now create, make, and confirm you a member of our order. Receive this cross. Symbol of charity. Faith, hope, and charity abide, but the greatest of these is charity. Receive the mantle of our order, the symbol of brotherhood. Brethren, let us love one another, because love is of God. This is your certificate. As a member of the order, you will also This is our spiritual supporters in Scotland, reminded that you're now part of the big family. Consumer Delphia Lafern Yaden. Delphia Lafern Yaden is enabled to attend. We will give her certificate and brevet at a later event. Confrere John. Heroes. In the name of God the Son, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, and by the authority conveyed upon me by the Supreme Grand Proud Council, I do now make, create, and confirm you a member of our order. Receive this cross, symbol of charity. Faith, hope, and charity abide, but the greatest of these is charity. Receive the mantle of our order the symbol of brotherhood. Brethren, let us love one another, because love is of God. So, John, this is your certificate. It's a pleasure and honor to have you with us. Thank you very much. I'm also giving you a shoulder patch of your order, so you can put it on your uniform clothes. And I'm also going to give you a reminder. This is our spiritual office in Scotland, in Church Beams. Just to remind you that you're part of a big family. And prayer, Joseph Gilbert Luma. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, and by the authority conferred upon me by the Supreme Grand Council, I do now make, create, and confirm you a member of our order. Receive this cross, symbol of charity. Faith, hope, and charity abide. But the greatest of these is charity. Receive the mantle of our order symbol of love. Brethren, let us love one another, for love is of God. John, this is your certificate as a member of the order. It's a pleasure for me to have you with us. I'm also going to give you a shoulder patch. And also, Confrere Paul Cueva. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, and by the authority conferred upon me by the Supreme Grand Council, I do now make, create, and confirm you a member of our order. Receive this cross, symbol of charity. Faith, hope, and charity abide, but the greatest of these is charity. Receive the mantle of our order, symbol of love. Brethren, let us love one another, for love is of God. Paul, this is yours. Thank you. And this is your And a small reminder, this is our chapel. It's often that you're not part of the big international family. 
Your Excellency, I beg to present the following postulants to be invested with the rank of officer. Consul Shara Stevens Geralds. Grand Prior Shara is the custodian of insignia, so what she's doing now is bringing her own insignia to us. <laughs> In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, and by the authority conferred upon me by the Supreme Grand Council, I do now make, create, and confirm you an officer of the order. Receive the cross of the order. Symbol of charity, faith, hope, and charity abide, and the greatest of these is charity. Receive the mantle of our order, the symbol of love. Brethren, let us love one another, for love is of God. Sure, this is your certificate. Thank you for all your work up to now. Not sure you'll do more. Got your shoulder patch and a small memento. This is our chapel in Scotland. That you are part of a big family. Consular Olga Francis Harrow. God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, and by the authority conferred upon me by the Supreme Grand Council, I do now make, create, and confirm you an officer of the order. Receive this cross, symbol of charity. Faith, hope, and charity abide, but the greatest of these is charity. Receive the mantle of the order, the symbol of love. Brethren, let us love one another, because love is of God. This is your certificate. Oh, that is pleasure to have you with us. I'm going to give you a show of that which you can use. And also, I'll check with this button in the quarters, so that you remember your part of the big family. It's a pleasure. Your Excellency, I beg to present the following postulants to be invested with the rank of commander or its equivalent for those who are in holy orders, the chaplaincy of the order, the Reverend David Odell Clevenger. I have got you now. God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, and by the authority conferred upon me by the Supreme Grand Council, I do thou, thou now make, create, and confirm you the commander, chaplain of our Lord. Receive this cross. Symbol of charity. Faith, hope, and charity abide, but the greatest of these, as you already know, is charity. Receive the mantle of our order, Brethren, let us love one another, for love is of God. Oh, what a mess we made here. <laughs> David, this is your certificate. And this is our general new order, and that's her Monday. Thank you very much. And prayer, John Robert Wallace. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, and by the authority conferred upon me by the Supreme Grand Council, I do now make create and confirm you a commander of the order. Receive this cross, symbol of charity. Faith, hope and charity abides, but the greatest of these is charity. Receive the mantle of the order, symbol of love. Brethren, let us love one another, for love is of God. See, nothing falls when you have your assistant doing it. <laughs> John, it's indeed a pleasure to have you with us. I'm sure you do a good job with us. This is yours. This is your shoulder patch. And this is our home in Scotland. The Reverend Canon Sanford Raymond Sears. Reverend Canon Sanford Raymond Sears is on mission in South America assisting orphans and widows at this time. We will give an investor another investiture. Confrere Jim Steele. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, and 
by the authority conferred upon me by the Supreme Grand Council, I do now make, create, and confirm you the commander of the order. Receive this cross, symbol of charity. Faith, hope, and charity abide, but the greatest of these is charity. Receive the mantle of our order, symbol of love. Brethren, let us love one another, for love is of God. Confrere Peter Ludwig Johannes Eckert. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, and by the authority committed to me by the Supreme Grand Priory, I do now make, create, and confirm you a commander of the order. Receive this cross, symbol of charity. Faith, hope, and charity abides but the greatest of these is charity. Receive the mantle of our order, symbol of love. Brethren, let us love one another, for love is of God. Excellency, I beg to present the following postulant to be invested with the rank of Knight of Grace of the Order as proposed by the Grand Priory of the United States. Xavier Benjamin Zabin. You have petitioned the Grand Council to be admitted to this order as a Knight of Grace. In order that we may know about your mind and purpose and that you may be strengthened in your resolve to fulfill the obligations of this high rank, you must make the declaration we now put to you. Do you believe, as far as you know in your own heart, that God has called you to be a knight in the Hospitaller Order of St. Lazarus of Jerusalem? I believe that God has so called me. Do you commit yourself to the principles of the Order, and will you use your best endeavors to care for them, for those who are in their need of comfort and succor? I commit myself and will do so. Will you accept the discipline of this Order, and will you give due respect to those set in authority above you? By the help of God, I will. I, Benjamin Zavenia, do solemnly declare that I will give due obedience, loyalty, and respect to the Grand Council and to those set in authority within the order in all things honest and lawful. Almighty God, who has given you the will to undertake all these things, give you also the strength to perform them that he may complete that which work he has begun in you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, and by the authority committed on me by the Supreme Grand Priory, I do now make, create, and confirm you, a Knight of Grace of the Hospitaller Order of St. Lazarus of Jerusalem. Receive this cross, symbol of charity. Faith, hope, and charity abide, but the greatest of these is charity. Chevalier, it's a pleasure to have you on board with us. Confer and Concer, the first Chevalier of the Hospitaller Order of St. Lazarus of Jerusalem in the United States. Your Excellency, I beg to present the following postulant to be invested with the rank of Ecclesiastical Commander of the Order as proposed by the Grand Priory of the United States. His Grace, the Most Reverend Bishop Thomas Mount. You have petitioned the Grand Council to be admitted to this order as a Knight Commander, or the equivalent Ecclesiastical Commander. 
in order that we may know your mind and purpose and that you may be strengthened in your resolve to fulfill the obligations of this high rank, you must make the declaration we now put to you. Do you believe, as far as you know your own heart, that God has called you to be a knight in this hospital of St. Lazarus of Jerusalem? I believe that God has called me. Do you commit yourself in the principles of the order and will you use your best endeavors to care for those who are in their need of comfort and succor? I commit myself and I do so and I will do so. Will you accept the discipline of this order and will you give due respect to those set in authority over you? By the help of God, I will. I, Bishop Thomas Mount, do solemnly declare that I will give due obedience, loyalty and respect to the Grand Council and to those set in authority within the order in all things honest and lawful. Almighty God, who has given you the will to undertake all these things, give you also the strength to perform them, that he may complete that work which he has begun in you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, and by the authority committed on me by the Supreme Grand Priory, I do now make, create, and confirm you an ecclesiastical commander of this hospital order of St. Lazarus of Jerusalem. Receive this cross, the symbol of charity, faith, hope, and charity abide, but the greatest of these is charity. Save it to you. Receive the mantle of the order, the symbol of love. Brethren, let us love one another, for love is of God. documented that the order of St. Lazarus used the Veni Creator as early as 1175 
in its early morning summonses in its monasteries and hospital sites in the Holy Land. Well done. Amen. Your Excellency, the Knights in Council have sanctioned the promotion of a member of this Grand Priory to the rank of Dame of Grace. Will it be your pleasure to invest her? It certainly will. Your Excellency, I beg to present to be promoted to the rank of Dame of Grace, Dame Karen Cantrell. Dame Cantrell. I, Karen Cantrell Eckert, do solemnly declare that I will give due obedience, loyalty, and respect to the Grand Council and to those set in authority within the order in all things honest and lawful. Almighty God, who has given you the will to undertake all these things, give you also the strength to perform them, that he may complete that work which he has begun in you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, and by the authority committed to me by the Supreme Grant Prayer, I do now create, make, and confirm you, a Dame of Grace of our order. Receive this cross, symbol of charity. Faith, hope, and charity abide, but the greatest of these is charity. Receive the mantle of our order, the symbol of love. Brethren, let us love one another, for love is of God. Confer and Conser, I give you your first name of grace of the Hospital or Order of St. Lazarus of Jerusalem. Your Excellency, the Grand Council have made awards in the Companionate of Merit Civilian Division. Will, you be, will it be your pleasure to present these awards? It will. In the grade of Officer of Merit of the Companionate of Merit of the Order, Sister Sharon Francis. Sister Sharon, we have heard so much about your good deeds in your community. Please accept a small token of appreciation for what you're doing and do continue to pray for us. It's another cross. It's nothing new. Congratulations, this is your certificate system. Thank you very much. Sister Sharon Francis, she receives this wonderful award because of her humanitarian services internationally and nationally. And Sister Sharon Francis has fought diligently to stop human trafficking nationally and internationally. And she is a blessing to her church and to her community. <laughs> His Excellency John M. Wilson. Your Excellency, don't need it, don't need it. John, we are very, very happy to have on board members of both our orders, and also the fact that we're working together in your country and in your county. I'm sure that this mutual synergy will continue and grow in the months and years to come. Please accept our small Accolade, you are now a commander of merit of the Companion of Merit of the Order, which means that basically when it's good for you, you say you're white, when it's good for you, you say you're green. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you so much, sir. His Excellency John M. Wilson receives this award due his extensive work in the Imperial Order of Constantine the Great in St. Helen. His Excellency Michael Tillman. 
Your Excellency. Your Excellency. So let's take off the accents a bit. Michael. Max. It's a <laughs> pleasure to have you with us. You are going to receive the Companion of Merit of the Order of Merit of the Order of St. Lazarus for specifically the same reason your friend before you got that. Doesn't mean he's better than you, that he was before. It's just a question of throwing the dice. He came first. <laughs> <laughs> Choose your whites and greens carefully. Both <laughs> lead to the same hospitaler end. Thank you very much for your work. The Excellency Michael Tillman receives this award certificate due to the, his extensive work in the Imperial Order of Constantine the Great and St. Helen. Secretary General, your insignia is inside, but your certificate is here. I'm sure that you will all agree, confer and concer, that Dame Karen Cantrell deserves to be also accoladed in the Companionate of Merit of the Order of St. Lazarus. <laughs> it's been a pleasure working with you for these past one and two, three months, something like that. One year, two, three months. You've done an excellent job. Couldn't have been better. I have some, some, some reservations about the German postulate mm. you brought in, but that's, <laughs> <laughs> but that's something else. Um, joking apart, you did a wonderful job, and it's my pleasure oh, to give you, you a second. It's an honor to serve you. Thank you. I've brought with me two sets of gold oak leaves. There are nine at the moment in all our international communities, nine. I want to give one of these gold sets to your chancellor. He's going to be the father figure for all of you here in the United States. And it's not a small job. You've got a very important grand prize to take care of. Remember, like in anything else, when you have the name United States, people look upon me to be the best. And I'm sure you will. Please receive our gold oak leaves of merit. Wear them in the uniforms that you're going to create in the next months. And make sure that you understand that this means you have the full authority and trust from the Supreme Court. And Karen, you deserve it as well. Oh my God, thank you. You are so In the grade of Grand Cross of Merit of the Companion of Merit of Order, His Grace, Michael smith Rath. Your Grace, Your Excellency, Your, it's indeed a pleasure to have you with us today in this important date for us and also for your organization because obviously it's a twinning situation. Yes. We're working together for hospital work. Thank you. Now, all of us in, in, in these um, positions have loads of lovely insignia and crosses of all shapes and sizes i'm going to add to you okay. one of ours unfortunately <laughs> this is the grand cross of merit wow, wonderful. of the companion of merit of the order we'll tie it up properly we later because otherwise i'm sure I'll... we have the same problem with us yeah. <laughs> it's when we give the grand cross of merit of the Companions of Merit, it really means that you're family, because otherwise we wouldn't give it. Thank you. First of all, it's very expensive, and secondly, <laughs> uh, and secondly, we, as you know, when, when, when you give an accolade, we want to mean what we're giving. Exactly. So, Your thank Grace, you it's good to have you with us, and thank, thank you. you again for all your it's help a, and assistance. It's my pleasure. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow knights and dames, I am very pleased and honored to be able to receive this accolade from His Excellency Max. Uh, Lady Karen and I have been working with this for what, about a couple months? At least. A couple months. And I was delighted to be able to help. This is what Chevalier Gordon should be all about. Rather than fighting each other and saying, we're well, they're not, we're better, they're, they're lower. The companionship that we need to create among Chevalier Orders worldwide, this today exists here in this chapel. So I'm very pleased and honored 
Your Excellency, again. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Your Grace, this evening I have the pleasure to induct you into the Order of Constantine the Great. Bring them on. It is an ancient order, and uh, especially for you, that should be uh, some meaning as we've been accepted worldwide by six churches. I cannot be more proud of than this. We are actually known as the Imperial and Charitable Order of Constantine the Great and St. Helen as our counterpart for the ladies is basically St. Helen. I, I'm, I'm, we don't have the time, but I'm sure that you know the history behind it. But this evening, I have the pleasure and the honor to induct you as a Ninth Commander into the Order of Constantine the Great. I do have a certificate for you. Read it for you yes, please. The Order of Constantine the Great and St. Helen. We, Michael, Duke of Garden, by the grace of God, Marquis de Colombier, Count de Tisquillo, and Grand Master of the August and Ancient and Honorable Imperial and Charitable Order of Constantine the Great and St. Helen, hereby appoints and acknowledges the Reverend Bishop Thomas Mount as a member of the Order of Constantine the Great and St. Helen, established by the Byzantine emperors with all rights, honors, and privileges thereto associated. This distinguished representative is appointed in the rank of Knight Commander. After having executed an oath of allegiance to the Grand Master and to the Constitution of the Order, this appointment further acknowledges the member as an exceptional citizen of high moral virtues and charitable disposition. Recorded at Riverside, California, the United States of America. Please receive the star of your rank of Knight Commander. Your Excellency, this evening I have the privilege and the honor to be able to bestow upon you the rank of Knight Grand Cross of the Order of Constantine the Great and of St. Helen. Uh, here is your certificate. Uh, His Excellency will be reading the same. Uh, I love this quote. Read. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the Order of Constantine the Great and St. Helen. We, Michael, Duke of Garden, by the grace of Excuse God, me. Marquis de Coulombier, Count de Guide, and Grand Master of the August and Ancient Imperial Order of Constantine the Great and St. Helen, hereby appoints and acknowledges His Excellency, Max Euro. As a member of the Order of Constantine the Great and St. Helen, established by the Byzantine emperors, etc., etc., etc. Good point. And is appointed Knight Grand Cross in the Order. Your Excellency, please receive the cross of the Order of Constantine the Great. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> and we also have uh, the star of a Knight Grand Cross. Again, I won't Thank be making any holes in your suit, so. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. I'm sure that you will find a place. Thank you. To the service of God and the hallowing of his holy name, we dedicate we ourselves, ourselves afresh, afresh to the maintenance of honor and the sanctity of our plighted word. We dedicate, we dedicate ourselves, ourselves afresh in continual remembrance of our solemn oath to our order and our resolve faithfully and truly to keep it to that end. We, we dedicate, dedicate ourselves. ourselves O Lord, who rulest over all things, accept, we beseech thee, our service this day. Give us courage, and may that courage ever rest on our sure confidence in thee. May we show self-control in the hour of success, patience in time of adversity, and may honor lie in seeking the honor and glory of thy great name. Guide the knights in council who shall lead this Grand Priory. Sustain them by thy help in time of need. Grant they may also faithfully serve thee in this life, that they fail not finally to obtain an entrance into thy heavenly kingdom through the merits of thy blessed Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 O Almighty God, who has chosen us to be an order of knights under the blessed protection of St. Lazarus, give us, thy servants, grace truly to perform the solemn vows and promises made by us 
at our investiture so that the work of our hospitaller order may go from strength to strength in perfect obedience to thy will and grant that we in full devotion to thee and abounding in neighborly charity may show ourselves invincible under thy banner remaining faithful unto death through jesus christ our lord amen i would like to officially announce that the supreme grand priory has accepted the, the plea of the grand priory of the united states that its main focus of hospitaller activity will be to assist and protect the needs of our brethren in the Congo who are working under the spiritual overseeing of the World Miracle Network. Your officers and persons in authority in the Grand Priory will be giving you more information in the coming weeks and months, and they expect cooperation from all of you. The greatest of all of these are those who are the servants of all, and with a heart of humility and servitude, I just want to thank you for everything you, you do and everything you stand for and all of the, the, the hurts that are, that are uh, I guess, healed and the pain that's alleviated just by caring and giving. God bless you all. Chancellor. To follow our Grand Prior as a hospitality order, here in the U.S., it would still be our mission, as all you have been doing and all that you still will do, is to help those that are sick or afflicted, those that are in need, those that need comfort and support, and to do all things that is right and charitable. And now to do it with our flair as Americans here through the priority of the U.S. Go forth into the world in peace. Be of good courage. Hold fast to that which is good. Render to no man evil for evil. Support the weak. Help the afflicted. Honor all men. Be Christ's faithful soldiers and servants to your life's end. May God who has called you to this service enable you to fulfill it. May the Father make you strong and tranquil in his knowledge of his love. May the Lord Christ bestow upon you the courage of his gentleness and the steadfastness of his brave endurance. May the Holy Spirit grant you that self-control which comes from a gift of his wisdom. And may the blessing of the God the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Ghost be upon you now and always. Amen. 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 Oh, you deserve before the music starts our also acknowledgement of your presence here and our gratitude. From Friend Concert, thank you for being here.
This event was filmed by Godfather Films.